What is there beyond knowing? What is there beyond knowing that keeps calling to me? I can't turn in any direction, but it's there. I don't mean the leaves grip and shine, or even the thrush's silk song, but the far-off fires, for example, of the stars, heaven slowly turning theater of light, or the wind playful with its breath, or time that's always rushing forward, or standing still, in the same, what shall I say, moment. What I know I could put into a pack as if it were bread and cheese and carry it on one shoulder, important and honorable, but so small, while everything else continues, unexplained and unexplainable. How wonderful it is to follow a thought quietly to its logical end. I have done this a few times. But mostly, I just stand in the dark field, in the middle of the world, breathing in and out. Life so far doesn't have any other name but breath and light, wind and rain. If there is a temple, I haven't found it yet. I simply go on drifting in the heaven of the grass and the weeds. My favorite part of this poem is the reference to the far off fires of the stars, heaven's slowly turning theater of light. For those of you who don't know, I am a sophomore in college at Lawrence University studying physics and mathematics and I plan to go on to graduate school in astrophysics. I don't study astrophysics just because I get to do a lot of math, although I do love to do math, but because studying the universe is an activity filled with mystery, discovery, and wonder. In essence, my study path and intended career path is inspired by wonder. It reminds me of the second verse of my favorite hymn, Blue Boat Home. Sun my sail and moon my rudder as I ply the starry sea, leaning over the edge in wonder, casting questions into the deep. A few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to travel with several other physics students to High Cliff State Park to witness the peak of the Orionid meteor shower. The weather was decent enough, the temperature warm for late October in Wisconsin, the sky relatively clear. We found a grassy hill sloped in the correct direction with a line of trees shielding most of the artificial light in the area. For a couple of hours, we laid there, staring up at the sky. And if you happened to be looking at just the right spot, at just the right moment, you'd see a streak of light across the sky fleeting, yet beautiful. Inspired by this trip, inspired by the aforementioned verse of Blue Boat Home, and inspired by what is there beyond knowing, I wrote my own poem that I'll share with you now. It's entitled Wonderful, spelled with two L's. Wonderful. Children are the wonder keepers. You, my child, were one too. You used to spend hours basking under the stars, always questioning, always asking why. Over and over you posed the thought, never taking I don't know for an answer, dreaming of new discoveries with each dawning day. Every time you engaged with reality, you followed the ray of wonder. Grasp it tightly, I always said, as though I were the expert on knowledge that you believed me to be. The search for truth and meaning is responsible and free. 
but too many seek what they already have. Blinded by ignorance and privilege, they desperately look for the light, though its illumination is only revealed to those who possess true sight. Hold on to it, I told you, while you've still got a chance to learn and understand. We're born innocent, not ignorant, of our celestial land. Lying in a field beneath the starry sky, I knew you'd listened well. You knew everything there was to know about the universe, all because you never let it go. Thank you.